Okay. Oh, what a brilliant film. If you've seen it, I'm sure you agree. Top Gun is one of the first films to be available on CD. Now, in theory, I should be able to take that CD movie and play it on any CD hardware system because of a magic word, MPEG. It's a kind of standardization system. It stands for Motion Picture Experts Group. And it was indeed a group of motion picture experts who got together around a table and decided they all wanted their machines to run full motion video. After about seven years, they all scratched their heads and came up with a creative title, MPEG. A system that allows you to store up to 74 minutes of information on one CD. That's not enough for a movie, so movies come on, well, two CDs. So that's the theory, but does it work in practice? Can I take my CD movie out of this system and play it on the other one? Let's find out. Put it in the CD32. And the answer is, well, no. But that's got nothing to do with the hardware and nothing to do with MPEG. It's because the movie makers are also money makers. And for various licensing rights, they only allow the Top Gun CD to be played on the CDI system. So they put some extra encoding on the disc so it won't play on anything else. Which kind of defeats the object of MPEG completely, doesn't it? Before you play movies at all, most machines need a special add-on that'll let them play full motion video. The first of these to be available isn't for the CDI or even the CD32, but for the PC. So... How can you get your PC to play full motion video? Well, you need a fast PC with a CD drive. You'll also need a special extra bit of kit which goes inside the PC called Real Magic. Now, this is Real Magic, and this is the bit that'll let your PC run full motion video with over 32,000 colours and, of course, CD quality sound. This is Dragon's Lair, looking every bit as good as the arcade version. If you compare it with the regular PC game, you can see the animation was much jerkier before. It's also allowed a totally new kind of game to emerge. This is Return to Zork, where you've got digitised people in front of a computer-generated background. You have to solve a 700-year-old mystery by talking to over 20 different characters. Real Magic will be in the shops by the end of the month, with plenty more games promised before Christmas.